Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I really wanted to talk about the angle of solar panels. When I first started setting mine up, I, I really didn't want to mess with uh, re-angling them. Uh, you know, having the angle lower for the summer months and higher for the winter months. I just wanted to put them right in the middle so that way uh, I wouldn't have to mess with them. Uh, so all of my solar panels are angled at 45 degrees. But I started really thinking, I'm like, it is really sunny out here, and I wonder if I could get more if I did angle them. But would it be worth it? I mean, would it be worth the trouble of coming out here and having to adjust or buying new parts to make it so it's easier uh, just to be able to get a little bit more electricity coming into my solar panels? So what I'm going to do is uh, I have three strings go into three separate charge controllers. So this string right here, this is the, the sensor string, it's for 200 watt solar panels. And again, they're angled at 45 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust all of those. I'm going to lower them 10 degrees. So they're gonna be 35 degrees. Um, I looked it up and the optimal angle for solar panels is actually 34 degrees. So 35 is gonna be close enough. Here, let me show you how I have it set up in the back. You can see right here, this was uh, you know, my, my first attempt of, of putting the chains on the solar panel. So I have two chains on each solar panel to kind of keep them angled in place. But there's no real way of adjusting them. There's no, there's no extra chain to pull off. Uh, it, you know, I just kind of hard wired it in. So they're always gonna be 45 degrees. So I'm gonna to have to make some adjustments. Uh, as you can see over on these panels, these are my second ones, and those single chain works really well, and I have a bolt so you can unscrew it, and it just makes it a lot easier. So if this experiment uh, actually produces a lot more energy from the panels, uh, I will probably end up adjusting how these are set up to mimic more like this, and I'll somehow make it all easier to you know, unclip the chain and adjust it and then clip it back in, something like that. Okay, after uh, 15 minutes of grueling work of these panels crushing me over and over and over again, uh, they are down to between 33 and 35 degrees. Okay, it is now the next day. And uh, as you can see, I just wanted to show you that the day is another beautiful no cloud day. And uh, my panels are still sitting exactly the way they were yesterday. And um, it is, what, it's, it's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. And I am just, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm just starting to get a little bit of shade on the panels uh, from my roof. And that's kind of the downfall of, of having these panels at such a low angle, is that they're back farther and so the shade hits them earlier in the day. And, and once that shade starts going across, these panels are in series. It loses a lot of electricity because they're lower, because they're angled back lower. So I'm gonna be going inside and then we're gonna be checking. Uh, yeah, it is bright out here, Jesus. We're gonna be going inside and checking uh, what our numbers are and see if it was worth 
uh, putting these at a lower angle and to see what our peak performance was. Let's go inside and look at some numbers. All right, instead of uh, actually going out and look at the numbers, I've decided to come back out here and show you another thing. Uh, these four panels, they don't have any shading on them except for a tiny bit at the top. But the panels that I was testing for the angle, you could see that the top portion, probably the top quarter of it, those are shaded. The top quarter portion of these panels are shaded. So when you look at the numbers uh, for 515, you're going to realize that that little portion of shading makes a huge difference when the panels are in series. I think now let's go ahead and look at the numbers and see what we got. Okay. All right. Here's the chart for, for two days ago. Uh, well, let's go ahead and look at our advanced for today or for two days ago. And we are all, all we care about is the center panels right here. Uh, and let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to zoom in from 11 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. So let's go ahead and do that. 11 a.m. to 4, same day, 4 p.m. Okay. All right, and on the center panel, all you can see that uh, we got a peak of about 583. 583 watts is kind of what we are peaking at. Um, and that is when the panels were at a 45 degree angle. And then you can see that it kind of spikes around a lot because I think that's where the shading starts to kind of, oh no, the shading doesn't come into play until about two. So about right here. So the, yeah, the shading comes into play uh, and then it slowly goes down. And as you can see on the other, the, the right hand panels, there is a, you know, a, a pretty good constant, uh, constant drop uh, all the way up until four o'clock uh, because there is no shading on those panels. And then these, uh, those are the, the left hand panels. Those are the, the 250 watt panels that are horizontal. They, uh, they even have a less of a drop. So let's go ahead and look at um, today's numbers for the same time. From 11, let's just look at it from 11, 11 a.m. till now. All right, the center panel, we had a peak of 584. <laughs> So as you can tell, uh, these two days were basically identical. There was no clouds in the sky. Uh, it was uh, it was actually about it was about ninety it was about ninety five degrees today, but two days ago it was only about ninety. So there's a slight difference there, but that shouldn't cause any uh, any change in the in the panel. I mean, it's hot, so. So 584 again, I would have thought that since these panels were angled, you know, pretty much at a 33 degree angle, uh, that they would have captured more of the sun and we would have seen at least over 600 watts uh, at the peak. But we're not really seeing any difference at all. It really surprised me. It, it surprised me that there was really no change. You know how we looked at those panels at 515 and a quarter of the top were shaded. Those are the, the center panels. At 515, you can see that the center panels are only producing 45 watts. The, the left-hand panels, which are the horizontal ones that are still fully in the sun, they are still producing 300 watts. And the, uh, the right side panels which only two of them are facing south and the other two are facing east, they're still producing 98 watts. So you can tell right there that just by having that shading at the top quarter of the panels, how much of a difference it makes uh, in the production of those panels. Okay, with all that being said, um, I hope you like this video. 
please hit that like button if you like this content. If you have anything you would want me to be more specific about, please leave them in the comments. And uh, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, please uh, subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.